Hi, I'm State Representative Mark Hargrove representing the 47th Legislative District. The legislature cranks out hundreds of bills each legislative session, but sometimes I think we wonder what are we actually getting accomplished that we can see back home. I'm the assistant ranking member on the House Transportation Committee, and so I thought I'd just share a few things that you'll actually see and be able to see results of what we're doing down here in Olympia. On Highway 167, where it joins 405, it's one of the worst intersections in the state, perhaps the worst. And you've already seen the progress being made where we're going to take the uh, traffic that's going from the left hot lane on 167, loop over and end up on the left side of uh, uh, 405. Uh, which is much better than the current system where they have to weave over through the traffic and then weave back over when they get on 405. So I think we'll see significant uh, traffic improvements there. Further south on 167, uh, we're going to restripe the uh, pavement between Puyallup and Highway 18. So we're not actually putting down more uh, pavement but the restriping and the hardening of the shoulders will end up with an extra lane at a much lower cost. And I think we'll see uh, traffic improvements from that also. Mentioning uh, Highway 18, the intersection of Highway 18 and 90 is also uh, being designed now. And if you've been through that, uh, you know that it can be terrible. I waited a half hour just to get off of 90 to get on to 18. So that section from uh, that intersection to uh, on 18, right to the Tiger Mountain um, truck lane as you're starting up the hill. That's gonna be redesigned so we get an extra lane for that section and that'll get the traffic off 90 quicker and the traffic moving uh, better too. And then we have a couple of things in Covington. I know a lot of people are concerned about all of the houses going in in a black diamond and what that's going to do to the already significant congestion that we see on Kent Kangley. So the first one that's going to happen, we'll start to see that this fall, is the bridge over Jenkins Creek on Kent Kangley, which is uh, basically basically just uh, behind Red Robin. That's going to be widened, and that's really the choke point. It's going to be widened all the way to the entrance to Home Depot. So I think we're going to see a lot of uh, stress relief there too. A little bit further to the east, uh, towards Maple Valley, 204th Avenue, uh, which heads to the north from Kent Kangley, is going to be widened and extended, and it's going to loop around to the intersection of 256th Street, and Highway 18. So traffic that wants to get on to Highway 18 won't have to go through Covington. So all of that should uh, should help traffic uh, through Covington, especially because next month, and I'm very happy about this, Chick-fil-A is opening up there. And I expect there's gonna be a little more traffic. It's known to cause that. So I think those things are gonna, gonna go hand in hand. And the last thing, and this one is just in the designing phase, but south of Costco, on uh, Covington Sawyer Road, there's kind of a tricky little intersection a little bit south where it goes over the railroad tracks in the creek there. Uh, we've put in some money for a preliminary design of that intersection, which I think will help with safety and congestion. That one may not may be a little while until it actually gets done, but we're get, beginning that, uh, that process. So anyway, just want to share a few of those things with you, some things that will have a real impact on our day-to-day -day lives. I hope that, uh, that you see great results and are happy with that part of what we're doing in the legislature. I appreciate you listening to this, and uh, anytime if you want to get a hold of me, call or email, I'm happy to talk to you. Take care.